Many don't understand the idea of apathy and lack of motivation when we're alone. We have many ideas of how to get better and improve our life, but the gut-wrenching pain of loneliness continues to defeat our ability to achieve our goals. Life circumstances add to the flames by constraining our ability to truly overcome the odds and progress. Inspirational and motivational quotes do not work when life's aggressive hold is on someone's life. Quotes help for a short period of time, but another trial brings us further into despair. When we're alone, we feel like we're in a deep cave that no one knows we're in. We walk towards the end of the cave for miles and miles, but still end up in the same exact darkness. How can someone truly understand our situation during our lonely period? How can someone understand that we've tried every possible event? How can someone understand that we've tried every possible solution? We are limited in our abilities because of our lack of help and connection. But that cannot deter us from continuing to exhibit strong character and a loving disposition. It's very easy to be bitter, but what will that solve? Sometimes time alone and brokenness is necessary to truly be a benefit to others. When, not if, we come out of this period of loneliness, we'll be a better person. Why? Because we're able to improve ourselves without the need for approval from others. We are unique and we must understand that we're individuals with needs. One of our needs is self-esteem and we can only build that by working within ourselves to persevere through our circumstances with gratitude and hope. Self-esteem means we love ourselves and others, whether others are there or not. Drive and ambition are results of our basic principles of self-worth and self-preservation. If we don't love ourselves, how can we achieve and be ambitious? The key during loneliness is gratefulness, long-suffering, hope, and kindness. Our bitterness, shame, doubt, regret, fear, and anger only makes the length of our lonely suffering and the ramifications of our self-hatred that much more than it has to be. Drive and ambition during periods of loneliness starts with our childlike ability to care and love. We have to crawl before we walk.